Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's Jack TV. We're going to be going over this weekend's NFL games. Okay. First off, we're going to start off with Detroit and Dallas. Detroit's three and zero. Dallas is two and one. Okay. It's at Dallas. Dallas has played really well the last um, two weeks or uh, three weeks defensively. Okay. Expect Demarcus Ware to have a field day against uh, Sam Bradford. Okay. Also, don't look at um, Dallas's play last week. Tony Romo was out all of practice until Saturday. They played Monday. Uh, their cadence was off, and of course, it was against a rival game. Look for Des Bryant to have a great game and to be able to run the ball. Okay. So I'm going to take Dallas on that one. Okay. Pittsburgh and Houston. Houston's playing really well. Pittsburgh's banged up, and they're getting older. Okay. Look at Houston to be able to win this game. Carolina and Chicago. Chicago cannot defend the pass rush. Jay Cutler, as phenomenal as he is, is getting hit. His receivers aren't catching the ball. Really all he has is Forte. But for Forte to have a great game, they will pull this out, but not in big fashion. Minnesota and Kansas City. Two absolutely horrible teams this year. Minnesota can't win games, and Kansas City just simply can't score. Minnesota also has blown three straight games by double having double-figure leads. Don McNabb is in the end of his career, and he's proving it the way he's playing. Look for AP to have a great game and to beat Kansas City, but it will be a close one. Next, we have Buffalo and Cincinnati. Buffalo is playing really good uh, football right now, but the problem is they also are on a high horse right now. Be careful not for them to not go into Cincinnati thinking they're just going to win this game, but they will win. Next is going to be Tennessee and Cleveland. Matt Hasselbeck, I think, took 10 years off his life right now. He look, He's playing like he's in his mid-20s. Look for Tennessee to make short work of Cleveland, at, but it's going to be a close game for a good while because Peyton Hillis will be pounding the football. San Francisco and Philadelphia, okay? The dream team, okay? Just shut up, okay? You're overrated and underachieving. Um, San Francisco is going to pound the ball against your Y9 and win the game. Washington, St. Louis. Washington, St. Louis, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're expected to win. San Francisco is going to win that division anyways. Okay? New Orleans and Jacksonville. Are we even talking about this one? New Orleans. Atlanta, Seattle. Uh, Seattle is one of the worst teams in the league. Atlanta, expect them to finally get off the ground. They will be the first birds to fly between them and Philadelphia. New York Giants in Arizona. Um, Cobb is phenomenal. Fitzger uh, Fitzgerald cannot be guarded. Okay, If I'm going to pick Arizona in this game because I think they can protect uh, Kevin Cobb, they can, and the Giants secondary is extremely bad. New England and Oakland. New England is overrated as well. Okay, They're, They have simply the worst defense in football. I don't know what happened, but it's the worst defense in football. Look at Michael Bush and McFadden to run and catch a lot of passes out of the backfield. This game was going Oakland and a high scoring, just like the uh, last two that um, Buffalo has played against them. Then we got Denver and Green Bay. Is Orton really still playing quarterback, and can they? do they have a receiver? And why in the world is Noshawn Marino starting? Expect Green Bay to make extremely short work of Denver. Miami and San Diego. They're not not only they were playing for anything, San Diego was playing horrible, but Miami cannot stop Phillip Rivers. And then let's go to the Monday night game. The New York Jets and Baltimore. The Jets are two and one. Two, both of those wins were given to them by Arizona and Dallas. Dallas had the Jets beat all over the place, and then Arizona actually had won that game until they fumbled it into the game. Look for Baltimore and that great offense to make extremely short work of the Jets. They will pound the football, Flacco will have a great game, and of course, we all know that Mark Sanchez cannot handle that kind of pass rush. All right, well, that's it for this week's Jack TV, and hope you enjoy.